Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. Steve Martin and I have been talking about Fonica Pro 10 and various workflows around sort of bringing in media and ways to edit it. And uh, now you're going to take us kind of the next step on that on that path, right? We're going to talk about uh, secondary storyline workflows. In the previous episode on uh, music editing, we talked about yes. editing in the primary storyline. We have your music as the primary driver of your edits. Yeah, and then we put markers in and cut to the beat on that. Exactly. In fact, if you look at this timeline, this is essentially... Whoa, a, this, is, yeah. this is a lot more going on there. <laughs> right. The, the last episode, I had like four edits, and then okay, you can see here, it out. it's yeah. all filled out, and we got a lot of clips here. And you can see that all these clips are, are connected to the primary storyline, yes. which is my main music. And notice uh, what you said last time, is I wasn't slavishly editing to the beat, as you yeah, can see you, on the markers. You you've got um, various overlapping happening. Exactly. Kind of little slop here and there, sort of play with the timing. Right. Now, speaking of slop, <laughs> um, my timeline's kind of sloppy. And at the point, I'm at the point now where I want to clean things up a little bit. I want to experiment. Okay. Maybe this is like version one of the edit, yeah. and the client comes in, and by the way, I'm my own client here, but and the client says, you know, Maybe you could you could try this section of uh, the video, move it later, and maybe this try it a little bit, you know, move some things around, around. almost like uh -huh. building blocks. This is where pro secondary storylines just shine big time. Okay, show us. Okay, so what the deal so is. here I have. I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom in a little bit. Uh, here I have a series of related clips. I like I like this series of clips. Can you move this up just so we can see the top of these clips? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There we go. See that thing. Okay, so I've got. Oh, it looks like uh, six clips here, and. I like the order in which they, they unfold, and I don't really, I, I want to be able to move them around and try them in different places, but- As a group. As maybe. a group. Okay. You just hit the nail on the head. I want to create a group for them. Uh, and that's essentially what a secondary storyline is. So okay. I'm going to select them, yes. right click, and notice this create storyline. Notice the shortcut, Command G, Command for G, think of yeah. Command G for group. Yes. You're grouping the shots into one a storyline, and one one of the telltale signs that you have a secondary storyline is that you have this bar along the top. This bar is called the shelf. shelf yes. So you have a shelf there, and what's nice is I can just grab this entire thing and I can I can move it right or left and because it's in the magnetic timeline. I have to worry about the other clips. I can I can do essentially what I want. What I can also do you is can cut and paste I, it between projects. Exactly. I'm gonna what well, you can cut and exactly copy so paste it or cut the, and paste it. The key thing is you don't want to select in the middle because it selects an individual clip, component. Yeah. You want to select the shelf Flip and then the shelf. command C. Uh -huh. And then what I want to do is go to the, I have a marker. What's really nice is that I have markers I can just so jump to. So you just to. open the timeline index, index, right? And then what that does allows me to jump to my to-do markers. Uh, and what that okay. did was allow me to jump to the marker that I want to paste this this uh, secondary storyline to. Beautiful. Isn't that nice? Now I hit command V. And there it is. I took that entire piece that whole collection, that whole collection. Yep. so when I play this now it'll actually you can actually you, the whole thing in play now here's the main advantage of secondary storyline mm -hmm. If you have individual connected clips, you can't really swap the order very easily. You have to dr you have to drag you have to drag so one drag and one, you drag the other one. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a pain. So one of the advantages of a secondary storyline is that if I want to change the order, I just grab a clip within the secondary storyline and move it, and I can move these around at will. And they're perf everything that's happening inside the secondary storyline behaves exactly as if it was as in a, if pri it were a primary storyline. Exactly, it basically, is a, sort of an instance of a primary storyline. So you can add transitions. You can do your your uh, precision editing, ripple rolling type of trimming. Stuff. Exactly. As a matter of fact, you mentioned it. Uh, I can't really add transitions to these clips. I mean, I, I could as long as they were contiguous. I can do a Command T, and it would it would create a secondary storyline. Yeah, put it in. A but 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 if I wanted to do it a, a, a you know easily to a bunch of them, I could I can now within a secondary storyline, I could just select a clip and then hit Command. Command T, yes. and it adds that, and it makes it really easy to, and if you select more than one clip like this and hit Command T, it'll actually add those transitions to multiple. All of them. Right. The other thing that I like, and you mentioned, is the trimming features. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just want to talk a little bit of that for, for, for a moment. So, you can, if I trim this right, if I trim this shot, notice what's going to do. It's doing a ripple edit. It's shortening the entire yeah. secondary storyline. Just like it would on the primary storyline. Right? Exactly, just like mm -hmm. it would. But maybe I don't want it to trim the entire secondary storyline. So here's a little trick. If okay. you go to the position tool, P, yes. 
and I'm gonna do the same type of edit, except this time I'm gonna just ripple one side. It leaves a gap clip creates there, a gap. Okay. creates a gap clip, so I can then replace that with some other, with shot. Some other shot. So if, you, if you're, that secondary storyline has an exact duration that's very important to you because it's starting on a certain beat and ending, or maybe it's there's a voiceover that it's exactly, it's, it's a bunch of cutaway shots for sure. an interview or something, right. and it needs to be that duration, you can keep it that long and just end up with placeholders for dropping a shot. So then how would you how would you then turn that gap into a shot? Well, you just grab a clip right here, and I'm gonna, you could set an in and out point if you want, and then you just drag it in and drop it right on, on the gap clip. On the gap clip. Yeah, you just drop okay. it right on the gap, gap, gap clip. Should work here. So I think it was on it, if you release the mouse. Is it on it right now? Yeah, yeah there it, it is. Blue there it is, yeah. you can just drop it right on there. Okay. Okay, so. That's easy to do. Okay. Um, the other thing too is, I'm gonna, you, you mentioned earlier, I'm gonna undo that, is you can use a rolling edit. What well, rolling edit is, I want to trim this shot while simultaneously trimming this shot, but it's not, you can't do it with connected clips. I can't do a rolling edit with two connected. Yeah, you can only trim the in point of one you, clip or the out Yeah, you have to trim point, this the and, then, start or end. and then trim that back. It's mm -hmm. a couple of steps. But if you're in a secondary storyline and you get the trimming tool, Chief or trim, you'll notice that you actually can do in a fact, rolling. The icon shows change. that you're going to be editing both sides. Right, and, and also you get a two-up display. It's showing you yes. I'm simultaneously editing the out point and the in point, of the incoming shot yes. at the same time. I call this the Rob Peter to pay Paul tool. So, <laughs> which is what we're doing here, and you can't yep. do that unless the clips are in a um, secondary. But it's, a, it's another trim uh, operation that allows you to maintain the duration of that overall secondary yes. storyline. Exactly. So there's very specific editing tools that allow you to change shots, to edit shots, and still keep the duration of all that exactly the same. Swap shots, all it, of that. Yeah. So yeah. there, there's definite advantages to secondary story because you're moving again. If you think group, you're moving yeah. the things a group. You're manipulating everything in it as a group, and it also cleans up, cleans up your timeline. If you you know if you look at that, I mean. You could, as you start doing this, you're gonna get nice, clean, secondary yeah. storylines. Chunks of, of content that are kind of locked down for you. They're right. Like, this is done. So, so I hear some of you asking, okay, well, I don't wanna be that way forever because I, I wanna be able to and get out of that if I have to. Sure. You can write, uh, let's see. You can break apart clip items. It's interesting um, with that command. There is, I mean, you normally you would access break apart clip items in here, but I found the only place to do it is um, is uh, you go up here to the clip menu and say break apart clip items. Or, or shift command G and so, so, so command G to create the storyline, shift command G, G to, to tear it apart to again. To tear it apart, just, up, there it again. So then it's become independent again. Correctly. Okay. So there, there you have it. Yep. So you can do, the, the point is with the secondary storyline, you could do pretty much everything in a secondary storyline that you can with, in the primary, except gives you the added versatility of being able to move that thing around well, as a group. Being a connected clip. It's a, it's, it's it, there's only connection. one connection. One connection point. One connection yeah. point, as opposed to, of course, multiple connection points. That's another go. advantage. There's multiple connection points here, whereas a secondary, there's one connection point uh, for Fantastic. that entire group. Fantastic. Yeah. Cool, thanks, Steve. Uh, Want to learn more about this? RippleTraining.com, I assume, is still the place to go. Still the place to still go. Still the place to go. Okay, yeah. great. Yeah. Great. Thank you. And thank you for watching MacBreak Studio.